Hello everyone, Exelberth here, and I have recently purchased an early access game called Habitat. And it looks to be a rather silly game. If, if you pay attention to the background here, you will see Earth and what seems to be some sort of wreckage floating around in orbit. You can see some what looks like cargo containers. There's a satellite looking thing over here. Here is a school bus. And there looks like some sort of rocket booster. Well, this game is fairly new, I believe. I didn't see it until today. And what the game says is that Earth is doomed and humanity has one last refuge, and that is orbit. And so, you are going to be spending the entire time you're playing this game, at least in the stage it is right now, building a spacecraft in orbit out of various wreckage that is floating around. The controls are fairly simple. WASD moves the camera, Q and E rotates. If you click on objects, you can drag them around and attach them to connecting nodes on your spacecraft. Or just move the objects around yourself to bring them closer so you can plot out where you want things to be set up. Now if you hover over objects, you can assign them hotkeys by pressing the R button, but it will only go in order. And yeah, it does look like you can't actually assign the keys if the object is not attached. Given that it's an early, early access game, I'd say that's a pretty good thing. You can also scroll out to see just how massive all the wreckage is. As you can see, there's quite a bit of it. There are stations around. But they appear not to actually do anything other than sit there. Let's see, matter accelerator. Let's go about building ourselves a rocket that we can actually steer. In order to steer, you need these Omni Thrusters. Which I like to try attaching to the front. Actually, let's bring this over here. And let's attach this militarized T-Rex head to the front of our rocket. Let's get a better camera angle. Now, this is, does seem to be functioning only on a 2D plane, which is, I suppose, a good thing because it could be a little bit overly complex if it was not. I have two engineers to start with. They fly around and gather the materials for you and attach things. They also will repair your rocket. I think an explosive tank of gas might be a good thing to have attached to our rocket. Let's rotate this. We rotate with C and Z. And let's put the explosive gas tank right next to where the exhaust where the exhaust flames will be shooting out of. Now, if you feel your rocket might be a little bit too flimsy, you can add more connectors simply by clicking on a node and dragging a connection line to it. And right click will cancel the the build connectors option. There we go, explosive gas tank now connected. Let's make sure it's anchored to this line under here. There's two nodes that are kind of hidden, you can't really tell they're there unless you're in the build mode. It's important to remember those things just so you can make certain that you have properly anchored materials. And rotate this one as well. I don't know if these explosive gas tanks real will actually do anything to help us out. Like, I don't know if there's any actual fuel that you can gain by having them attached. But I figure that it might not hurt to have them anyway. Next, we will add the Omni Thrusters to the side of the T-Rex head. 
Now, the Omni Thrusters are fairly important to have as steering is basically impossible without them. Now, I have noticed that they do sometimes bug out and will refuse to connect when you have certain objects connected. Let's see if this one will work. Alright, so they are not actually working. Let's see if I can just pop off this T-Rex head. And maybe that will fix the problem. Now you do have a resource collection thing. I do not exactly know what generates these resources. But you also generate Omni. And in order to generate Omni, you just have to keep on adding things to your craft. Yep, there we go. Detaching that T-Rex head did fix my issue. Good. Let's get you attached here, and then we will attach the T-Rex head afterwards, just to make sure that we have the omnidirectional thrusters attached. Then attach the T-Rex head once more. There we go. Now what else can I strap onto this habitat? called an IPC transport shell. I don't know what that would stand for. Interplanetary carrier shuttle? I don't know. I think that sounds too redundant, but I'm not the one who made this game. Let's strengthen the connection of the Omni thrusters by attaching them to the T-Rex head and to these basic thrusters. Alright, so the T-Rex head is a weapon. We also can attach these tanks that are floating around for no reason whatsoever. Like here. Let's actually rotate this just a little bit inwards. And there should be one more floating around somewhere nearby. Is that the closest one? It looks like that might be the closest one, so let's grab that. And keep in mind, these are just replica tanks, not actual tanks. Yet they still, when you attach them, will shoot. Now, shooting does cause physics to happen on your craft, which I find pretty cool, actually. I didn't expect to, that a uh, early access game this new would have something like actual physics installed to sort of replicate what space is like. It's not a perfect representation, of course, but... It's a lot better than a few space games I've seen. Let's counteract that rotation just a little bit. Let's see... You click the booster, it will fire up for a moment. There we go. And counter that one a little bit as well. Good. That replica tank is almost here. After we get that tank attached, we will attach, oh, I don't know, maybe these big booster rockets? I don't see what could possibly go wrong by attaching bigger rockets. Now these things do have a slight issue, I think, of not... Yeah, they have the exact same connection points, and you can't really turn them around. So, let's forget about these. They're, they're a silly idea, anyway. Let's see, we could have a robot arm, a jet aircraft, an industrial drill, a happy burger stand, or a laser beam. I think we may be just fine with what we have right now. 
This is, after all, an early access game. There's not really too much to it yet. But it does have a look of promise. Oh, spacebar will stop your habitat from moving. I did forget that. You can create new engineers. Select and snap view to this habitat. Now, why would they emphasize, emphasize this habitat? Unless you will potentially in the future be able to create more habitats. Hmm. Let's see. I think we might have enough now. Let's get our engineers to come back to base. I think that the white line is their tether, so while they are tethered, they will move with the habitat. So, time to assign these various items hotkey buttons. There, everything is assigned a button, except for these. Click to trigger charges. Maybe this will refuel certain things. But anyway, if we click on 4 and 5, we can use the Omni thrusters, which require Omni to do anything. We can fire them to reorientate the direction we are facing. And for this little demonstration of how this game works, I'm simply going to destroy that craft in front of us. Okay. So we can turn off the Omni Thrusters. Turn on the main thrusters, and our craft will start to move forward. Now, if we click 7 and 6, our, our tanks will fire. It will consume resources to do so. Let's turn off everything, hit the emergency stop. Now, this isn't actually firing back, so we have a slight advantage, and the T-Rex head is actually a flamethrower. Now, I don't know if the flame is actually pushing away that craft, but it does seem to be moving away slightly. I think that what this game really could use is a slight improvement to the action groups because currently nearly my entire number pad is being used up for these action groups which probably is not intended maybe it's just that I don't know how to do this game properly but anyway fire the tanks And firing the tanks is causing us to move backwards, and there we go, we are knocking pieces off of the enemy, quotation marks, craft. I think the only thing left for us to really do is turn on the T-Rex fire cannon, and just go full on ramming style. Use the Omni thrusters to help us compensate for the slight movement of the craft, and... BOOM! <laughs> so... This is Habitat. And there goes that core. Ooh, a food truck! It definitely seems like a very silly game. It looks like there are quite a few creative ideas that you can do with all of this stuff. Look, there's even a cruise ship way over here. And a lunar lander. Mainly you're mainly what you're doing is collecting garbage to make some sort of habitat slash battleship. 
laser prism unit. You know, there's one right here. Let me actually grab it. I want to see what this does. It is nice how each of these items does have some sort of action thing that you can do with them. Sure. Boosters will just propel you forward, or if you attach some boosters facing backwards, will give you an emergency stop that you don't actually have to spend resources on. Maybe I should have Maybe I should do that at some point with an inevitable rocket I will end up creating. That's it. But I say this probably is a good start That's it. for what could be a very entertaining game. Let's see, an articulate focusing unit, this prism extends the range and charges a... extends the range and changes the angle of any laser that hits it. Okay, so you could possibly deflect incoming laser fire, or set up some sort of weird, complicated laser cannon. Okay, that's cool. You could... You can make a laser cannon that you can adjust the aim of. I see potential. And this... Just fires a harpoon. A very short range weapon. Or I managed to hit that, and that's what causes it to explode. Nope, it's just a very short range weapon. So, that's gonna be it for this video. I just thought this was a very silly game that I could share with all of you. All several of you. And I believe that you can get a, a two-pack deal for this. Not sure why, because it doesn't seem like there's any multiplayer, but... It's an option if you want to get a silly gift for a friend or two. Oh, that's what that does. Well, hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave, and I will see you in the next episode, whenever that may be. Take care, and goodbye.